still, well, I guess we have some clues about Yago, but no useful clues. We gotta find them. Ah, this must be where they make squiggles. I can actually go in. Oh, jeez. The king's men need armor and the tanners are running short, but I might have something for you here. Ooh. A leather jerkin or tunic, which I think is what I have on right now. Equipable by Joseph, Jekar, Fles. Well, spoilers, those people join. This jerkin provides superior protection for the wearer's torso. I think the only difference is it has sleeves. This one's got some neck to it. Money's a little tight because I don't know what the hell we need. Nice transition, though. Men will fight harder with ale in their veins. Aye, and the spears and arrows will cause no pain. But drunkards win no victories. Hmm. You're weird looking. Hello? Arenian. Murad invades the kingdom and we're held to blame. I have no love for the emperor, I assure you. For years, Iranians have lived peacefully in Lanel. Why are we now the enemy? That didn't sound like music at all. What's this? The paper and apple store? What's your desire, my friend? Shall I show you my wares? That guy talks kind of weird. Magical shit. Nope, just regular stuff. I'm blind. Padded surcoat, leather jerkin. What the fuck is that? Padded surcoat. Superb protection. Superb protection 15? I fucking doubt that. Superior is... Now, if you were listing words, would you put... Superior above superb. Apparently they do in Linnell. 20 versus what? 15. Um, You know, if Yago's hobnobbing with the king, we can probably get some pretty dope shit when we find him. Make do with my hobo clothes. A fucking big city. I don't think I should have come down here. I think I might just live here now. Die of starvation. Oh, that sewer is probably a mess. Uh oh. Do I gotta go all the way back? It was a different time for video games. I guess you just stroll right into the palace and see what happens. Looking for Yago. I am Joseph, professional peasant. Alright, so sewers, no thank you. 
Now we know. Some other asshole night. Know that the vassals have answered his summons. No, sorry, now that the vassal. The king will now convene his war council. Perfect. I'm glad for him. You guys, are you royal guards? You look weird. Palace guards. Don't say I didn't warn you. Stay away from the palace gates, Cotter. How am I going to get in? If I know my old-timey RPGs are going to have to go into the sewers, I defer the acquisition of victuals for my pantry to those I've hired to manage such affairs. Forgive me, but I must attend to my business. Probably thinks I'm selling grain because I'm dressed like a farmer. Do all farmers have broadswords? War brings out the rats. They smell the blood. As long as there's war, famine, and plague, the rat catchers will have coins in their purse. Good for you. Glad to hear it. The press gangs bring us men that can hardly stand, let alone carry a pike and sword. The rats of Linnell would make better soldiers than this lot. Well, you shouldn't have gone to war with Japan. The lords of the realm always carry daggers behind their backs. Praise Earth, their enemies have united us to a common cause. What is going on over here? They've got a little park. Oh, you're making a little play. I don't have time for this. These trees are the last sentinels of an ancient forest, home of Pake, the Bear Mother. For a hundred years, the crone watched over the Runari. Okay, great. Bumblebee tuna to you too. Are you... Okay, I thought you were prostitutes. Leave us be, farmer. We hunt a monster named Uro, the Earl of Morav's son. I should hold my tongue. If he hears me, he'll tell his father how he loves to spy and tattle. Just collapse the kid's windpipe with those pointy tits. Then he can't snitch on you. Elias married old Taraman's daughter to end the Civil War, so the story goes. Now that Rennie's invader shores, 20 years of peace are over. Glory and honor, words is all they are, but gold, ah, that's a sweeter song. I'd fight and win a war for gold, for it's coins that make my heart sing. Oh, what's this? Ah, that probably just goes into the playhouse. Damn bushes. Yep, those just go right into the play. Not bad town music, but it is about 45 seconds long and we've been hearing it for a bit. Is that back to the markets? Yep, the yellow line means we go back. Maybe I just run right in the door. Maybe that triggers a cutscene. Visit the Temple of Uroth, and you'll see wonders to delight and amaze you. The windows and mosaics tell the story of our creation and the death of our gods. Jesus. What a depressing world this is. Every piece of work that bears the seal of our guild must meet our exact standards. Anyone who violates our regulations will be disciplined. That's not my problem. I am a cotter. A distracted looking scholar stands before you clutching a worn leather bound tome in his hand. Sorry, too worked up to chat. I'm almost there. 
tell me more. I just found volume 83 of the Complete Encyclopedia of Heresies, Heterodoxies, and Apostasies. Is that good? Oh, yes. All I need now are volumes 28 and 67, and I'll have the entire set. How are you going to find them? Well, these last two volumes will be hard to get. I could use some help. How can I help? We found a book dealer earlier. Volume 28 is in the position of a certain book dealer, but he won't sell it to me. Why not? He seems to blame me for the disappearance of his volume 17 a few years and weeks ago. Of course not. I acquired it from another source later that same day. What do I have to do? Two hundred fifty gold. What a trusting priest! In the marketplace, you'll find a man named Bibris. Ask him for volume twenty-eight. He'll sell it to you. Once I have the complete set, I'll give you something I know you'll find quite useful. Deal. I mean, my home was burned to the ground, but sweet. Two hundred fifty gold. If gems are your fancy, I have what you're looking for. I don't even know what gems do in this game. Swords plus one. This ring boosts the wearer's skill with swords. I can't even click info. I need to identify it, I guess. An uncommon yellow gemstone of good quality. It kind of looks like a corn pop. So pass on that. Are you a swordsman or a swineherd? Excuse me, sir. Bit of friendly advice, plowboy. Keep your mouth shut. Your accent betrays you. Are you running from the north? Nah, we'll teach you how to fight. On guard, you slayer of chickens and scourge of sheep. The rake trembles in mockery. Alas, I shall die here, friends. This killer of geese is to blame. Fucking asshole. I don't need that today. Bibris the bookseller. Oh, hello, wench. No time to chat, sir. Chamber pots don't just empty themselves, you know. Well, the important thing is there was an exclamation point to let me know you were there. Just emptying these poop pots. I have no time for idle gossip. My servants are idiots and they require my supervision. What does it take to get honest work from them? A larger stick, I'd wager. She's just around the corner emptying the chamber pot. Get that book from Bibris. I have no idea where he is. That's a woman. I remember talking to a bookseller, but where is he? No. He should have exclamation points. That's the weapon merchant. Oh, you gotta get pretty close for the exclamation point. Uh oh. That's the old city. So, yeah, it's somewhere in here. Not this box maze I'm trapped in, but these stalls. Scabbard Maker? Huh. Holy shit. These people, uh... There's something else. Yeah, and they paint their faces white in our game. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea. It's a little weird, Mitch. No, it's their culture. Okay. Still weird.
Where in God's name is he? Maybe he doesn't have an exclamation point. Shield? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. He had a little house, didn't he? Because some of this across the bridge part is still the market district. Oh, isn't it? Pomparo, hello? You've come at an opportune time. Why is that? I am beside myself with worry. Something precious has been stolen from me. What's been stolen? A family heirloom pilfered from my chambers. It's a signet ring, once owned by my ancestor, the Lord of Duramil. Our family lost our lands and titles in the Civil War of 217. Why should I help you? I will offer a substantial monetary reward for the return of my ring. Any clues about the thief? None whatsoever. I suggest you start by speaking to my wife and the chambermaid. Perhaps you'll see what we have missed. Okay. I know where they are. I have to tell me about the th the thief. The thefts? So has my husband hired you to solve his little mystery? Fool. I told him to speak to the guard, but he doesn't listen. As for the thief, I can tell you who she is. What? The chambermaid, of course. She cleans the chamber, doesn't she? She's the only one who goes in there besides my husband, me, my husband and I. Do you have any proof? Not yet, but I'll catch the girl before too long. She'll be cleaning the privy in the keep when we're done with her. What a sweetheart. Do you know anything about the thefts? I have an idea about the thefts, but no one listens to me. What's your idea? I think it's sewer rats that do the stealing. What? I hear them in the walls, scurrying and squeaking. The city is rotten with them. Even the fine houses in the Crown District. What would an animal want with jewelry? How would I know? Maybe they like shiny things. Where can I find the sewer rats? I'll give you three guesses, you daft pid. Well, I'm fucking really fast tracking my friendship list here, aren't I? Where can I find the sewer rats? Fuck you, Joseph. Oh. That's the park we've been this way. I'm trying to look for that book guy. That's the castle I'm not allowed inside. Or maybe I am. Maybe I can just run right through. Before I get stabbed. Here we go. This looks like some marketplace houses. This is where Billy Book lives. Yeah, I got a good feeling about this. All right, now I don't. Cartwright. This goes back to the marketplace, doesn't it? Shit. I swear I met a book merchant somewhere. All right, now you know what? Everyone in this town's an asshole. Their quests can wait. We're just gonna try to run right into the palace. Should be no problem. Are we, what do you want? I gave you the sword. My uncle's sword will be a blade of vengeance, Joseph. The Emperor of Rainia will rue the day a soldier's attack, my son. Charles the Smith. The surly weaponsmith scowls at you and says, What is it? If you wish a sword or armor made, I must insist on payment in advance. What? 
My last customer, a nobleman, took a sword he'd commissioned but refused to pay for it. He refused to pay. Yes, a servant came to take the sword, saying that my fee would be paid when his master accepted it. Has he accepted it? Three weeks have passed and still no fee. I've become desperate. Why? I can't pay the money lender unless I collect that fee. The vultures will haul me off to the keep. How are you going to pay him? He ignores me. But if a bold adventurer like you confronted him, he'll surely pay the fee. You really think he'll pay? I'm sure of it. I'll reward you richly if you can collect my fee. Okay. Good. The nobleman's name is Lord Coral, and he often hunts in the grasslands near Linnell. Oh, another outside the town adventure. Man. I don't know if I can go outside the town without friends. I don't know if that'll work out for me. Here we go, let's just make a mad dash for the palace. Don't mind me, palace inspector. Well, this isn't the fucking palace at all. I've come from Turos to visit the High Temple. If only I could have lived in the days before the... Yeah... That's Lord Yago to you. That's well, Lord Menelag. Yago it is. I have urgent business. Business? What business? Will you sell him turnips? Has he borrowed your plow? <laughs> I come by his command. Stand aside and let me pass. Listen, peasant. You be on your way now. Yago is expecting me. Ask him. My name is Irrelevant. Now go or I'll spill your blood on the palace gate. What's wrong, your grace? Won't they let you in the palace? Huh? Who are you? Follow me. I know a way in. What are you talking about? Come on. I'll explain when we get there. The guards are watching. Looks like I just made a new friend. So this is your way into the palace? Through the sewers? These tunnels date back to the City of Gods. They'll take you anywhere in Linnell. If you know the way. I'm not going in there unless you tell me who you are and what you want. As you wish. My name is Felice. I work for Tancred. Tancred? The Prince of Beggars? Yeah, that's the one. Prince of Beggars and King of Fleas. How do I know you won't cut my throat down there or stick a knife in my back? Why should I even trust you? I wouldn't trust me if I were you, but you want to get in the palace, and so do I. But why are you here? What do you want from me? There's something I need to get from the palace. But why are you helping me? Because I need your help. The sewers are dangerous. I can't risk it alone. You're making a mistake. I'm a farmer, not a warrior. But your need is as great as mine. Let's go. Jesus. That looks heavier than that. Now I have two characters that I can control. To switch to another party member, simply press tab to cycle between party members or click on that party member's portrait. Party members have their own unique set of skills and abilities. For interest, for instance, Fleece will eventually get the ability, eventually, with which Joseph will never get. You can also go into solo mode by clicking the solo button. When you're in solo mode, your other party members will not follow you. This is useful for solving puzzles, sneaking around, and other things. Try using it often. All right, well, I guess we got a little dungeon now. With what level are you, young lady? You are level four. All right, so apparently we're on track because I'm level three. Well, there you go.